know that? Yeah. It's Vlogmas. Prepare to have me who, who all puts, up in your grill. Who, who puts up the stockings? I put up the stockings. Who fills the stockings? You don't. Good morning. Somebody dropped this off yesterday. Uh, Lewis bought it off of some kid that came to the door. Ow. Do I, do I gotta water this thing or something? Or is it gonna die? Or where do I put it? Like, I have a fake one for my door. Should I, I don't even... Man, I should have just went with the freaking poinsettias. Or, and they're not even called poinsettias, are they? Are they? I've always called them poinsettias, but are they called poinsettias? Because that's how people say them online, and so I just know I'm wrong on that one because I've seen how they're spelled, and poinsettias does not make any sense. Anyway, good morning. I'm I'm in a funk today. <laughs> I'm funky, baby. Actually, I just got out of the shower, but I... I and super thrown off my sleep schedule. I was doing so well. I would get tired at six and I would be like asleep by like nine. And it was perfect because then I was waking up naturally at like uh, 5.45ish and perfect. And I felt amazing and it was so good and lovely and great and I loved it. It was just so wow. I'm moving all of my PR stuff that I have sitting over here. I bought these the other day. Why? I don't know. I just, do you guys like the liquor chocolates? So when I was a kid, this is a bad story to tell. I don't care. I'm going to tell it. When I was a kid, you know, these have actual liquor in them. <laughs> and um, you, like, need your ID to buy them, right? Uh, we used to have them at the house. And I used to max. <laughs> and they were so good. I mean, they really weren't because, like, they do look, you taste a little bit like liquor. Obviously, since it's infused, it's filled with it. But I used to max those things, and I know some of y'all did too. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I had my first drinks pretty damn young. Um, but I never really got into it, P.S. I went out the other day, and uh, we went out for Ashley's birthday. Today's her birthday, actually, so I'm gonna whip out one of these cards, and we're gonna run to the store and get some stuff. But I, we went out the other day, and I had a little bit to drink, not very much, because I had to drive myself home, so I really couldn't drink. So I split a drink with a friend that was there, and she was like, oh, you have to try this, da da da. It's like this green tea drink, and I had never had it, and I was like, oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. But even just having a tiny bit, like, and we were there forever, bro, like, we were probably there for like six hours. And just having a tiny bit, I felt it the next day. Like, my head hurt the next day. And I can't even... Yeah, I don't know. There was some green tea drink. I will say the drink was like $6. I was like, $6? That's amazing! Me and Liz went to dinner the other day. The drinks tasted like butthole. And they were like $16 for like... I kid you not. There couldn't have been but three ounces in the glass. There could not have been more than three ounces. There couldn't have. I put more creamer in my coffee, dog. It was insane. I hate those bougie places because their drinks are, mm, it's so, oh yeah, it's sweet. It's not sweet. It tastes like a, what I assume a butthole tastes like. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what it tastes like, but that's what I think it probably tastes like. So, uh, I got this, this, yeah, it looks fancy, right? I mean, I guess technically it is kind of fancy, but it's not really. <laughs> it's actually just perfume. Um, but this is one of my favorite, is this even the one? This is one of my favorite perfumes. <gasps> this is I bought the wrong one! I bought the wrong one! No! 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 I bought it because it had the little spray thing on the side too and I was like, oh I want to do that because it's got the little spray thing and then I can put it in my bag. No! What if this one doesn't smell good? You know freaking Chanel perfumes are not freaking cheap. No perfume is cheap. I could have spent $25 on this and I would have been mad. Can't smell it through the thing. Okay. Okay, and the thing is broken? Or what? Oh. Oh. This is not supposed to spray like this. I don't know if you can tell that it's spraying wrong. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're going back. So, we have a really busy week. I have a very busy week in terms of like appointments and uh, work and stuff with the kids and who's gonna pick who up from here and who's gonna do this, this and that. We're gonna try out the new Gordon Ramsay restaurant tonight, which I am excited about. So he put one in Naperville, Illinois and that's just like a little, 
it's, it's just a little drive for us and it's not the city you know so we're gonna go with ashley and her husband and so we're gonna go try that out so i assume it'll be good i think i'm gonna get the beef wellington and this morning now that i finally got out of bed i was saying i was so tired i actually went back upstairs and laid in bed which i never do but i couldn't go to sleep and my brain was going a mile a minute so i was like just get up and get in the shower and get your freaking day going so Here's what's going on this week. We need to make cookies. Vlogmas starts this week. I need to make an intro and I need to do, um, I need to go get the cookie tins and I made up my list of ingredients. I need to go get the bulk items like the flour, the sugars, the well, yada yada. I need to get that. I need to get the regular stuff from the grocery store as well. I'm going through this box right now because I bought something that I wanted to give Ashley, but now I am second guessing it and thinking I should just go and get her this other thing that I wanted to get her anyway. Um, Cause like, what if she doesn't like it? I don't know. So I bought her one of the makeup or the the fragrance things. I actually bought two of them. So these are like 80 bucks, I think, at Sephora. If you have a man or a woman in your life that likes cologne and perfume these are great i know it sounds empty because there's a certificate in there and you use the certificate to go get a full size one so all the samples are in there they can smell them all wear them all and then they can decide which one they want in the full size and they can go get it for free or they can order it on sephora for free and i think it's just a really good gift for someone if you want to give them a fragrance but you're not sure which one they want there are two here that i have with perfumes that other one's for cologne i gave this one to lewis last year i actually bought this as a white elephant gift for this year but even that we have a white elephant party on saturday we don't do it traditionally like we just go buy gifts we don't use gifts that you know we already have or whatever which we're gonna start doing that next year but um we're gonna i i i don't know i might need to pick up some white elephant gifts as well uh two of those i did buy a cologne for lewis for christmas i did buy some stuff for my daughter in here for christmas Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna whip up a quick coffee and then we're gonna get the heck out of here. We're gonna drive to Geneva and we're gonna be at Joanne's as soon as it opens because we have a lot to do. We're going to Crate and Barrel today and we are going to, we have to pick up the kids and I don't even know what else, dude. We're just, we're busy AF. I ah, Speaking of me cussing like an idiot, um, I haven't read my Bible yet. You know what, I'm gonna listen to it in the car. It's not my favorite way to consume the Bible, but uh, it's better than not doing it. So we're just doing what we can do today. I feel very thrown off my game. I'm not, uh, I forgot to take my freaking pill, bruh. I guess I will be having milk and creamer this morning because apparently I'm out of stoke and I want to run outside and see if there's more on the outside fridges. And of course, it snowed, <laughs> so now I have to put on a pair of shoes that I'm not gonna wear outside because then I can't walk them actually back in the house, you know. Speaking of, I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear right now or what outfit I'm gonna wear tonight. Uh, I don't know, I gotta see what Ashley's vibe is. Do you guys do that? Do you guys match the vibe of the person that you're going with? And I don't mean Lewis, you know what I mean? Like if me and him go somewhere, we'll be on different like uh, dress dressed up now, I don't know that guy can make uh, sweatpants look fancy okay so he's a different breed he's a different breed um okay go outside with me crunch 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 number one oh yeah I forgot to take the stuff out oh hell yeah we didn't even have to go to the other one I gotta take out the uh, cans, otherwise they will, in fact, freeze and burst. It's a winter wonderland. Yay. The stoke has been procured. This little fit, all right, not, I didn't know I was gonna wear the vest, but I forgot how much I love this vest. This is coming very soon in a sponsored video, okay? But, yeah, shout out Hollister. It's from Hollister. You guys, I have so much to say about the stuff <laughs> that I bought from them. My kids, uh, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. I was going to say, though, they were begging to wear their stuff to school. And I was like, you can wear it. But don't leave it at school because we got to film the video tomorrow, which we do. Um, but I'm so excited. This vest is so freaking comfy and it's cute and cropped and like, I don't know. I, it's perfect because it's cold out. My cheeks are so pink right now. It's very cold, but if you're gonna be running around, big bulky giant jackets and all that, it's not the move for this girl. No ma'am, can't handle it. I thought that was a person. It's a towel. <laughs> Definitely don't need any Christmas stuff, but I'm here. So I'm gonna browse. 
I love when people put gingerbread people all over their house. It's so cute. Oh, I dropped something. So cute. So much fun stuff. Look at the gingerbread man. Oh. <gasps> what a little cutie booty. Today I was just able to get Nala another orthodontist appointment too, so um, we have an insane amount of like stuff, like places to be in different areas, lots of different cities, so I am gonna have to actually act like I got something to do. I'm gonna look for holly though, like holly sprinkles, because I wanna make these one maple cookies, which are delicious without the holly sprinkles. However, if you have them, so cute. Your old daughter made. She's selling them and has her own Venmo. Oh. Would you like to reply? No. Okay. Now I gotta open this message for my mom. I'm passing a Hallmark store. Just love Joanne's. Spent about, I'm gonna say I spent a little more than I thought I was gonna spend, but I got ribbons and stuff. And I'm passing a Hallmark. And um, our Hallmark that we had went out of business forever ago. And now they're like cropping back up. Anyway, we're pulling up to Sephora because I'm gonna grab this fragrance that I know um, my friend came and sniffed it. And she was like, that smells so good. And then she came and sniffed it again and she verified it still smells good. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna get you that for your birthday, girl. Um, so I'm gonna pop in and grab that real quick and then we're gonna go meet up at the Crate Outlet to see if I can find a table for my dining, you know, that little area where I put the couch or whatever. But like, should I be going to the Hallmark store? Because I swear they have such like cute stuff in the windows, but I never walk in there because in my brain, it's really expensive, but is it really expensive? It's just that it's like really expensive for stuff you definitely don't need. Do you know what I mean? I try to avoid those stores, except when I'm really in the mood. Um, I'm not in the mood at this very second, plus I'm in a little bit uh, rushed. My mom just sent me a message and said, oh, how cute. She's selling them and has her own Ven Venmo. She said, look at this adorable tree my friend's 11 year old daughter made. Oh man, that's pretty cute. Whip, whip, whip. All right, let's run into Sephora, get judged for not having makeup on, and um, get out of there quickly. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they don't judge you. I mean, do they? Maybe they do, I don't know. I don't judge you. <laughs> they could not have been nicer, okay? They really couldn't have. I mean, they could have tried, but it would have been weird. And I interacted with four different employees. <laughs> um, you wanna see though? So this one was on sale. I realized it was on sale online and I was like, it doesn't say there's a sale in the store. Is there a sale on this? And someone's like, someone else is gonna be able to help you with that. And so I was like, okay. Anybody else? <laughs> She's not you. <laughs> so there was a sale. Got this for 77 bucks. It's not bad for a freaking fragrance. This is Clean Reserve uh, Jazz Club, which is a classic. Uh, replica scent very popular i was torn between this and by the fireplace i don't know my couple of favorites that i know for sure i love are coffee break in in the library um and it's just kind of funny because i love libraries i love coffee he loves jazz and he's always cold and then um <laughs> i got this for my niece this is gonna be the last little piece of the puzzle for her birthday or for christmas for her this is uh the brazilian crush 62 so this is a pistachio and salted caramel scent i got her the little bottle because i already bought her other stuff and we do have like general amounts we try to stick around i mean i went over but it's because i enjoy shopping so i didn't want to go crazy though because the bigger one i think is like 40 bucks uh so anyway we'll see how she likes it and then this is they gave me a little bag and tissue paper and gift receipt and stuff i got this one for ashley so i already have this one but wild poppy by nest it's a favorite. I've already, I've repurchased it. Personally, I have repurchased it um, twice, I think. So I'm gonna give that to her. They were nice enough to give me a little bag and tissue paper for that one. And I'm supposed to meet her at 11.30. I think I'm gonna run home. Wait, do I even have time to run home? Now I'm thinking I don't have time to run home. And I should just be going out there, honestly. <laughs> I think I should just go out there. I'm hungry though too, and I didn't really pack a good brekkie, and that was my bad. Where can I stop for a little breakfast food that'll like keep me on plan, you know? But we'll satisfy the fact that I'm well, I'm a little hungry. Um, this is the perfect time to shop. A Monday morning, super early, it's only 10.20, 10.27, and there's like nobody out. It's pretty cold, so like, but it's not so cold that, you know, you're like dying when you get the car. Uh, yo no sé. 
We're gonna eat around here, you guys. And I'm gonna add these gifts to a running list that I have. It's a hidden note on my phone. It's locked. Um, and I'm, I'll show you right there. It's a locked note. I think it says like, look, it's a locked note. So I think it says gifts or something like that. It gifts, yeah. And I have it locked. And in order to view it, you have to type in a different like code that I came up with and boom. And then you have every single gift that I bought for anybody and it's perfect along with what I have going to put in stockings and stuff like that. So highly recommend you actually keep track. Let me, okay, I bought beta that. I can take that off. Okay, so I'm gonna update my little list. Well, we're rolling up to Michael's. I'm in Geneva, I guess Batavia now, and I'm going to Naperville for anyone who's around here. So that's like the route, but since I was passing by Michael's anyway, I figured I might, I might as well pop in and see if they have the little holly sprinkles, cause that's gonna like, really make or break this one maple cookie that I make. And uh, I feel like Michael's is gonna have it because Joanne didn't, which was weird. But I feel like Michael's is gonna have it. And if they don't have it, nobody has it. Okay, maybe Hobby Lobby has it. I don't know, I haven't been there lately. But I also need to get, um, just for the cookies, I think there's gonna be some that I gift to, oh, my neighbor came and like did the sweetest thing ever. And I'm like, y'all need some cookies. Like, what do you mean? How have I never given them to you before? Just that one neighbor. Obviously Jason too, that's my brother. He's also my neighbor, but he gets them at the Christmas party. So I'm gonna gift them to my other neighbor as well. And then I'm, I think I'm gonna try to ship some this year. I'm gonna see how it goes. Uh, my bestie, she'll give me real feedback on how they shipped. So before I ship them to somebody else, I'm gonna ship some to her. So for those ones, I wanna get the little cellophane uh, bags because that way you keep the flavors from mixing because I have some that are peppermint and then we have like brown butter this and then we have like this is and the flavors do mix. Some people ship them all together. I don't know how y'all do that. Maybe you don't have stuff that like has competing flavors, but if you do, don't do them like that. Like you need some separation between the cookie and a little cellophane bag will be Perfect, so let's go to Michael's real fast because now now we're gonna be pushing it for meeting Ashley and her husband at Crate. That giant wreath needed a bow that was bigger and better. We're gonna figure out how to hang that up today, okay? Because it's killing me in that room. Uh, holly and berries procured. These were the last two in the store. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I needed these little leaves. Leaves? Leaves, leaves, and then the little berry. So leaf, leaf, berry. I was counting them <laughs> and I was like, oh no, I don't think there's gonna be enough in one because a lot of it is sprinkles and I don't really specifically need the sprinkles. Like we can use them and eat them, but I don't need those for the cookies. And then I ended up getting these because I didn't see plain ones, but I was like, oh, these are cute anyway. And they're self stealing. So these will be perfect. And then I got Nala an ornament. I got Jay an ornament at the last place. He got a little Nintendo Switch. This is a macaron. Which I want to call it a macaroon because that's what feels right, but I know that that's technically wrong and a macaroon is a different thing. But when I say macaron, I kind of feel like a pretentious little a hole, which I'm not. Or am I? I don't know. I don't like saying it right because everyone says it wrong. I just want to be like everyone else that says it wrong. And then one thing of uh, reusable or disposable cups. Because usually somebody will come by or somebody's gonna have coffee, but they're heading out or murmur, murmur. And if you're not me, you're not taking one of my thermoses with you. Thermoses are not cheap. And they're not even the thermos brand, so I don't know why I'm calling them thermoses, but no. I don't let those things walk off. I was about to pull out and this lady just pulled right in front of me. And there must have been nine other spots, but I love you for it, babe. If that was the spot that was speaking to you, that was the spot that was speaking to you. I get Kayla look. Oh. Of course she does. I forgot I was listening to a book. That was a bust, and I'm so hungry. Now I'm really hungry. And I kinda wanna stop, but then part of me also just wants to go home, cause I like, I just want to like be able to make my own food, you know? Oh, uh, we'll see. But yeah, I didn't get anything. However, I did come to the conclusion that I am just gonna go ahead and buy this table that Crate had online. I was just hoping I was gonna be able to find it at the outlet on the low ski, but I couldn't. So that's fine. Ah! That's them. Don't hit me. So all good. I'll still be able to like save money on it. And I have rewards from buying the couch. I have like, I think almost 200 bucks in rewards from buying the couch. So I was gonna go to World Market, but I'm just gonna go home because I have a little bit of stuff I need to do there. And I'm just a hungry, hungry little lady right now. Oh, I'm starting to get a headache. Whatever, at least I'll have the table ordered. And then if something's wrong with it, 
you know, when you buy it from the outlet, excuse me, I, when you buy it from the outlet, it's like final sale, it is what it is. But obviously when you buy it through the store, even though I pick it up at the same place, like the warehouse is literally right there, but whatever. When you pick it up, then, you know, you have, then like if something's wrong, they fix it. And they'll come to you and take the messed up one and bring you a new one. So, you know, Crate definitely has good customer service, but what a womp. What a whomping willow of a day at the outlet. Oh yeah, all right, I'm gonna jam. Oh no, I'm not gonna jam. I'm gonna listen to that book because girl, it's just getting real good it was getting real good it's called how to walk away by karen Sen or Catherine center and a lot of people say she writes like women's lit versus like or women's fiction and not necessarily romance but her stories have they do have some romance and they have a relationship that's being built throughout the trials and tribulations that you know the person is going through this one is a woman who um ends up paralyzed while like she goes in an airplane with her boyfriend who then becomes her fiance while they're flying and then they get into a, um, an accident basically and she ends up paralyzed. So the story goes from there. Well, I'm obviously home. The hanger is gone and I put a little bit of makeup on. Just kidding, I put on a full face minus the lip. I'm gonna do that later. My hair is not washed so I'm gonna try to do this half up, half down thing which I think is gonna look better later when I don't have a hoodie on. We'll see, but it's such a rush, rush, rush kind of day that I knew I had to get this done so that I could not worry about it and I'll just have to pick out an outfit later and figure that out. But I figured I'd show you what I got from Joann's. Well, I bought 10 total, but I got these last year and I wanna say, is it, okay, the price is on here. So these are a relatively good size. Like these are pretty big. They're the biggest ones that they had. I got a few like this, and then mostly I got them like this. I think I got seven like this, because it's better to fit the cookies in here when they're a little bit taller. I can actually fit more in a round one than I can in the flat one, but that's okay. I got three of the flat ones. So three of the square ones, two of the Santas, three of the reindeer, two of these you know, tartan, Sienna, and whatever. I like all the ones that have the thing on top so you see what's in them. They have a huge variety there though and they get a lot smaller if you need them smaller and you know, they have matching ones and ones that are sold in sets. So if you're looking for little tins, this is a great way to gift um, cookies or candies or whatever. And they're always on sale. So I got these ones for four bucks each. And then they also have the ribbon on sale, of course. And so I think this one only cost me four bucks and I thought it was so cute because it's like Christmas trees and then like little gold reindeer. And I figured this will go with probably just that one. <laughs> but I could also put it on these other ones. And then I tried to just keep it classic. Uh, and I did the candy cane and then the buffalo looking plaid one. And then of course we did some tissue paper again. I try to keep it all in the same color scheme so that I didn't have to buy a bunch of different stuff. And that'll help uh, package the cookies or whatever. Then we're gonna tie them shut so they're cute. And then I got some Hershey's Kisses and some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups for the little like blossom cookies and then they had some different um, gingerbread houses which I thought these would be fun for the kids I'll probably put them away so they don't ask to do them right away because it's a little early but I got the Barbie one they do have a camper one as well and then and I got this Batman one I don't know if Jay will be into this or if they'll want to maybe he'll want to do the Barbie one and she'll want to do the Batman one because it's a little bit more intricate I'm not sure but whatever they can pick whichever one they want and then the peppermint sticks so these are a little different than candy canes because they're just thick little sticks and I thought this could make for um, some cute like content as far as making like holiday drinks and stuff. So I'm always thinking content when I get stuff like this and hopefully I actually use it and if I don't, I don't. But Oh and then this was the little ornament that I got Nala at Michael's. Is it broken though? Like what's in there? And then this is the ornament that I got Jaden and this one is from Joann's. I wanna say they were both like Five dollars. He got a little uh, Nintendo Switch one. Although his doesn't even come in that color because he has a special edition one because his broke, his original one. So we'll leave those there for them. And then I know I showed you guys this stuff. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and hang up my wreath. I'm gonna take this bow and hang it up because currently it's in the freaking way. So it came with this bow, but I was like, eh, no. I don't really like it. <laughs> I want it to be a little, a little more classic like that, so we're gonna put that on there. Hey, cutie patoots. 
obviously I've procured the children. I don't know if you can see Jay, but. You can't see me yet. There he is. And we went to the orthodontist. They did give her a slightly thicker wire and they connected it to the brackets in the back, which they weren't previously because it's a thin wire. Her thicker wire, like her thicker next wire is not supposed to happen until early January. So fingers crossed it doesn't break again. I don't know if I told you guys it broke. I think I did though. So this is the second time in two weeks that it snapped in half. So the orthodontist is not close, but at least it's easy to get her in there and get it switched. I mean, easy enough. It is, it, it's an hour drive back and forth. But any hoodly do got the kids Jimmy Jones because that's what they asked for for dinner since I told them I wasn't gonna cook anything because we're kind of rushy rushy today and uh, Jimmy John slaps bro. I normally get them uh, I get it like what's it called the unwitch where they just wrap it in lettuce I love that lettuce I hate the lettuce they put in the actual sandwich I like the unwitch lettuce it's like I mean butter lettuce is better but like at least it's it's good it's a, it's a nice hearty lettuce it can act like a wrap uh, but yeah, I didn't get anything. I'm not super hungry. I did max earlier. I ended up making a salad, but instead of putting like dressing on it, I just put everything on it. Like cottage cheese, I soft boiled eggs, I had some salmon. I know, it sounds terrifying. It was actually, it was a lot. It's because I was so hungry that I was like, protein, 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 protein. And I overdid it a little bit. I couldn't even finish it. So I had that. Um, and I need to go get, I cut a bunch of cucumbers FYI so you can take them tomorrow. I like you. Um, but I, I need to go to Sam's Club, which honestly, I don't have time right now. We're not gonna pass the Sam's, but I wish we were, cause I would pop in there and the grab. Was not that good. The cookie crunch? Cookie crunch. I know, it's because I did it with the sour cream and mayonnaise and we should just go with the ranch and kick up ranch. Mm -hmm. Um. Agreed. It didn't taste I, like ranch. It didn't taste like ranch. I agree. It was missing that ranchy kind of flavor. So we're trying to replicate Jimmy John's Kick and Ranch, which we kind of nailed it the first couple times. Um, but we started with ranch and then we kicked it up with like garlic and onion powder and cayenne pepper and red peppers and whatever. And I've read the recipe and supposedly they make it with mayonnaise and sour cream. So today, this morning, I made some for Nala to take with her lunch so she could dip her vegetables or whatever in there. And I tasted it. It's not that it was nasty, but it wasn't like ranchy. It didn't have a ranch flavor. Even though I put Hidden Valley Ranch in it, like the powder, whatever. If any of you guys know the Kick and Ranch recipe, or whether or not they will sell it to us in large quantities, let us know. Really, I'll be taking that every single day. Because Nala will be taking it every single day so she can eat her little vegetables and her little cracker sandwiches or whatever. I don't know exactly. But let us know if you have the 411 on the Kick and Ranch. And if you have not had the Kick and Ranch at Jimmy John's, That's might I recommend. <laughs> You're missing out. It looks already dark. It's not. It should not be dark. I mean, it feel, it's darker than it is light at this point. The sun is about to fall off over there. It's about to knock itself off the little cliff. Imagine we lived around cliffs and mountains and stuff. Like you know how scary that would be? I mean, I guess if you're driving on a cliff, yes. But I just mean like generally if we had like some something to look at, you know what I'm saying? We have we could look left or right and it's like nothing but sky. Sky and rolling cornfields. So many cornfields. I love it personally. I'm a big fan. If you had any amount of money and your job wasn't, you know, your job wasn't uh, a reason and, and your family would pick up and move with you, okay, where would you move? In this country, in the U.S., where would you move? Unless you're not from this country, in which case, you can say anywhere. <laughs> but I'm really curious where people would think to move in the U.S. Alright, so mom, would you move to Italy, would you say? If everybody that I cared about that I wanted around was going to pick up and go with me, where would I go? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I actually really like this area. Why yes, this is dreary, but... What about out of the U.S.? 
can't live in the U.S. anymore. I would probably move somewhere else that speaks either English or Spanish, so I still got like half the world there, right? I do really like this area. I don't know where I would live. Illinois doesn't exist now. Ooh, Illinois doesn't exist. Okay. 59 states. You have to go, okay, 49? 59 states. 49? Illinois is only one state, Mom. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna give you a second on this. I'm gonna give you a second to catch up. Three states minus one to 39. 49. You went to 39 now. That's what I would say. You went from 59 to 39. <laughs> well, why are we saying 48? I. <laughs> wow, gaslighter. You have to go, okay, 49? 59 states. 49? Illinois is only one state, Mom. I'm sorry. She's gonna watch this while she's editing it. And she's gonna be You like, said. Yeah. And she's, and she's <laughs> See? That's what you did say. You said 59 and I said 49. And you said, said 48. What are you talking about? And then you said 59 and I said 49. Said and then 40. you said 39. I never said 48. You said 48 multiple times. What happened, Jay? Who? What did I? Did I ever say 48? I wasn't even listening. Dang. She said 48 multiple times. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Nala I is literally. I'm a favorite YouTuber. Like Nala is YouTube. a grade A gaslighter. I know. Gaslight girl boss gatekeep. What? Well, it's finally time to go to dinner. Um, hi. I wish LFQ would bring this coat back. It's like my favorite coat of life, the houndstooth. Not not loving today's hair, I'm not gonna lie to you. Not loving today's outfit, I'm not gonna lie to you. Why would I? But, it's all good. I look fine, I just don't feel great, but whatever. Uh, Glamnetic, baby. So I ended up ordering a few of these during the Sephora sale. I got these ones, which are very cute. Uh, I love a good little Frenchie. And then I got these ones, which these are just like whatever, you know what I mean? Nice, rounded off, two different colors kind of going on there. And then I got these, which were part of the Harry Potter, like, Glamnetic collection or whatever. And they have the snakes for Slytherin House. And the Harry Potter ones are a little bit more expensive, which, not cool, you know what I mean? I was gonna put one on, but um, I'm not going to, because I'm gonna have to rush in order to do it. Then I have this pair from OPI still to put on. I should put them on, honestly. I could do it in the car. I'm sure Lewis can drive. We have like a 30 minute drive, which means I really need to get the heck up out of here. But yeah, these I really did not like. I just, I know I told you guys, but I took them off today because of how much I didn't like them. And my, my fingernails look a little busted and I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we just left the restaurant. It's pretty, nipply outside um but my cheeks are all pink because i did try the drinks there and they were pretty strong considering how little you get it always surprises me how strong they can make those little tiny drinks and still make them taste good i guess that's the accomplishment there but uh the food was pretty good i got the beef wellington and i was pretty full after the first half but i knew i was not going to reheat that second half and I didn't think the microwave was gonna do it any favors so went ahead for that and then they gave us the sticky toffee pudding because it's um like for your birthday you get that if you want something else I guess you gotta pay for it but that was really good anyway that's exactly what I would have ordered either way so I don't know if I told you guys where we were going though we went to Ramsey's kitchen so I'll insert, insert a little clip of um, some of the food and kind of what it looked like in there I believe it replaced Ted's Montana Grill in downtown Naperville if you're familiar with that uh, area I think it's right off Jefferson and um, it's it's nice it's a nice little it's a nice little place definitely like a special occasion kind of place um, but yeah that was lovely we did have to wait a while for the reservations because uh, Ashley and I tried to go I think like six weeks ago she was here and we tried to go and there was like there was no chance of us getting a table apparently so I assume they don't take walk-ins I have no idea though maybe they do maybe if you're just special kind of person they'll they'll seat you but um yeah that was great so we're gonna go home and i'm i think i'm done for the day with you guys at least i'm probably gonna edit and stuff 
I know my schedule's all thrown off because I have a video that I'm waiting to get approved and whenever that happens, I always get thrown off the vlog. So all I can say is that rest assured that at least once you see this, know that there's more right behind it because I'm gonna be stacking footage and editing until I'm allowed to post them all for you to see. <laughs>